All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. I accept it tonight. We took it out. I ain't gonna say shit. 126 to 91. 35 point win. You got it. Good job. <laughs> but I ain't here to talk about the fucking Warriors, bro. I'm not here to talk about the Warriors. I'm, I'm here to talk about my Cavaliers. Our Cavaliers. Warriors fans, whatever. If you want to stay and watch this video, I don't give a fuck. You won. You're gonna laugh at me. I don't give a shit, man. 3-1, though. Perfect. Shit. Look. Cavs tonight. Very bad game. From the start, we just didn't know what the fuck we were doing, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing. LeBron went 6 for 18, had 5 turnovers. Bad game. Everybody has a bad game. But since it's LeBron, niggas wanna make it like, oh, he's a choker. But he did come back from a 3 on deficit. But Perfect! Like, this is in the past. What we're talking about right now. Kyrie had a really bad game, 6 for 19. Nigga didn't do shit. I get that. Kevin Love wasn't even in the game for the first beat. He was in the game for like 15 fucking minutes and then gone. That nigga is back. Bruh. Just, Bruh. It just, just gave up on him. Corver, decent game. Four for 10, you know. But let me tell you guys what the real fucking problem with the Cavs is and how we're gonna fix that. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm just putting away all the bullshit y'all fucking Warriors fans saying to me. Perfect. Yeah. Let me tell you why the Cavs lost tonight and why we're probably gonna win another championship if we work on our fucking team the way we're supposed to. Look, I ain't even mad about this one. Hear me out. First of all, Warriors right now are at their peak, and I'm just using this as a comparison. I'm not even gonna talk about the Warriors. I'm talking about the Cavs right now. The Cavs are not even at their peak right now. We have a better roster than we did last year. And the thing is, we're not even halfway to our potential, bro. So, chill your ass out. Just chill the fuck out, okay? The Cavs lost tonight, and it fucking opened my eyes. It, it, I hope it opened the fucking eyes of the whoever was running shit over at Cleveland. The main reason Cleveland lost tonight was that fucking ISO ball, I think. We did not pass the ball. We didn't move the ball around. Everybody was just standing still. Our assist numbers are fucking disgraceful. I don't know how you can have so many shooters in the fucking team, bro. I swear to God, I don't have a hundred and thirty shooters. And that's not even a rant. I'm just saying, like, as a fan, as a, as a, as somebody who loves watching basketball, I hate seeing niggas, great fucking players, come up the court. And everybody's just standing fucking still. That's not gonna cut it. That's not gonna cut it. It's just playing hard fucking fast. You can't just ISO ball every time. Why do you think Melo's not winning? No, nigga! Huh? Because that nigga's an ISO player. It's a team game, so in order to fucking win, you need to pass the ball around, move the ball around, drive, kick that shit out. But did the Cavs do that tonight? No. And if they did, they fucking missed because they were in a bad fucking... I don't know what they... <sighs> I'm getting frustrated just talking about this shit because like, I see the potential in these dudes but they're not executing. The thing about the Warriors is right now your roster is not going to change. You have probably the best roster in the NBA but that's as good as it's going to get. The Cavs though, it can get better and that's what you don't want to <laughs> Bruh. And that's what you, you niggas don't fucking want to happen because the Cavs right now don't even have, you know, they're their full roster. J.R. Smith, Smith is out. is out. Corbett just got him. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. And we don't even know what we're doing on the floor for real. We're playing too much ISO ball. There's excess ISO play. Like 90% of that fucking game was just LeBron or Kyrie bringing it up, chucking a three, or running a pick and roll and just failing, turning the ball over. There weren't like many plays that were many sets. And that pissed me the fuck off. But also, it, it, you know, it, it tells me that there's a lot of, <laughs> this is what you, you guys don't understand. Like when, some, when, when teams lose like this, they don't just see it as, oh shit, we're fucked up, we're bad. No, they see it as like, we gotta improve, we gotta get better at something. We, we, we need to, you know, get better at this shit. The Cavs right now aren't even halfway to their potential. Believe it or not, we're 29 and 11 right now. When we get to the playoffs, Monica, that's when we need to get to our peak. Not here in the regular season. 
because who gives a fuck? We're still gonna make it to the fucking finals. No one can hold us in the East. And that that's no disrespect to the teams in the East. It's just facts. We have a better roster than every fucking team in the East. Perfect! We need to, you know, get our team working as a fucking team and not just one nigga just bringing the fucking ball over and just telling everybody to sh just stand around and like a fucking mannequin challenge. No. Bruh. But yeah, Cavs man, don't worry bruh. We're just getting started. That's the silver lining about this, you know, 35 point loss. We have a lot of room to improve on, so. Look bruh, I'm sure in June, I'll, I'll look back at this video right here, right now, and I'll be like, God damn Chris, you're a fucking prophet nigga. How did, how did you know? How did you know? The Cavs weren't even at their fucking peak, bruh. They're not even at halfway of their potential. Like this roster is so fucking great, bro. You don't you don't even fucking know. And I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I need to fucking say it again. So y'all niggas can understand that this roster right here has the potential to achieve, my nigga. Not the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors, they have a lot of weaknesses. But the Cavs, they have the weapons. They just don't fucking use them. That's what bothers me. It's frustrating, bro. But... I'm still a fan. And the Golden State Warriors, y'all niggas don't even know reach the finals, so I don't know. And San Antonio Spurs, I'm counting on y'all to fucking upset these bitches, bro. But this man right here, bro, bro. Don't be surprised to see the Cavs completely, you know, change their style of play. And maybe in June win another championship. But yeah, man. Chris out.